Hello, I'm Apostle Ron Wilson. Many of you all know me as Apostle, Pastor, Teacher, Evangelist, whatever you may call me. I'm a child of God and child of the King. I thank God for uh, the opportunity to be able to serve people. That's why I'm here. You know, a lot of you all uh, may not know my, my background is actually music. You know, I learned theory. I, I first started off in church playing the organ for choirs and and especially the church I grew up in, I became the minister of music, but I didn't know music. I couldn't read notes. So I went to college and I, I learned uh, the art of theory and learned uh, algorithms and I learned all types of things that deals with, uh, with music and uh, the theory of it. And, and I just thank God that I had that experience because now, you know, in the age that I'm, I'm in now, I really uh, have a desire that the church become enlightened. Did you know that the number 13, uh, actually that number means enlightenment, also means new life. Uh, and I began to uh, go back in my history, and when I learned in the history of music, I found out that there was a renaissance that took place, you know, in the 13th century. And uh, music actually started in the church. In the Catholic religion, uh, music was uh, originated first of all, to uh, bring an enhancement to the service you know, during a Catholic service. And so uh, from there, after the 13th century, then the music started spreading out into you know, society. And so uh, we, we always look at the fact that a lot of our talented musicians, talented singers, you know, they start off in church, then they wind out in, in the world singing. But I have somebody here today that has really created a, a buzz, you know, he has uh, a skill that is phenomenal. He's on national radio, you know, serious radio where his music is being, is being played all over the world. And I'm glad to, to know him as my friend, he's my buddy, but most of all, he's helping uh, me to produce and launch out a new a CD that we're going to be coming forth with, and his name is none other than Mike Manson. So, Mike, I'm so glad you're with me today. It's a pleasure to be here, Papa. Fantastic. Man, I'm telling you, you know, you 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 are. I, I went to a, I went to I was invited to come to a jazz concert. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right, Church. Uh, you know, I, I can't get away from my roots. You know, and that's where I've come from. I, I used to play in a jazz band, and uh, and the Lord, you know, really brought me into the kingdom of God. And so I, I learned scripture, I learned the foundations of scripture. But then uh, I, I, I'm having a desire, something that's happening on the inside of me. I want to get back into my origin of sure. music. Yeah. So he had me to reach out to Mike Manson, who has been really there, you know, as a friend. But I was at a concert and I've never been at this jazz concert like I've been at this one where you came forth and you gave your testimony. Right about your son. Yeah. So, so, so Mike, tell us a little bit about you. Well, you know, yes, I'm a jazz musician. Yes, I'm a Christian musician first. Right. And uh, for a long time, I, like yourself, I played in churches and did, at one point I was playing for 18 choirs. Wow. At one time, it was crazy. Right. Uh, but the Lord put on my heart you know, the things that I was studying in school, I have a master's degree from Northwestern University, and he, the things that I was studying in school was jazz. Right. So, but you know, because of my, because being saved, I was never allowed to go into clubs or anything like that. Right, right, you right, know, right. So, uh, but I wanted to make use of what I had learned. So I stopped playing for a year and just prayed. And the Lord uh, led me in the direction of actually playing the music that I had studied and had grown so attached to. But he said, I'm only gonna send you out here and let you go out there and try to win souls. Wait a minute, say that one more time because see a lot of people can't relate to that. They think that, you know, the kingdom is in the four walls. Yes. And right. they keep it with the four people. Keep talking and going over the same four things. <laughs> right. <laughs> but there's, it's, a, it's a bigger venue. It's a, my ministry field is so vast. There you go. And, uh, and it, is, it is specifically for the unchurched, those who will never, ever come into the church. Isn't that amazing? The only church that they'll probably see is me and my group. See there? And that's, a, that's an awesome responsibility. It's an awesome responsibility. You know, you know, here we have, it's a movement that's called 
uh, the prophetic movement where people, what I found out during the years of ministry, and, 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 and I'm, believe me, I'm prophetic, you know, David was prophetic. He was a minstrel a, under the inspiration, under of, the God. inspiration of God. He was absolutely. able to write songs, absolutely. but also play it. Or play it. You see, I understand that. But what I found out is unlearned people mm. do things that creates confusion. Oh, absolutely. And so they, they, people have brought this music out and said this is prophetic, but that's far from the truth. Because if you don't know your, your, your instrument, right. your voice, or your, your, the keys that you play, or the string instrument you play, <laughs> absolutely, it becomes confusion. Absolutely. The Bible said David was a skilled, skilled cunning musician. That's right. So you, you know what? You remind me of Bach. Now, I want you to tell them, <laughs> t- tell, them, tell them a little bit about Bach. Tell, tell them, because well, people don't understand that. <laughs> well, Bach is basically the, he was the Baroque period. I See? mean, you know, he's, but he was a musician. First of all, he was fantastic. Just unbelievably skilled. Oh, my and God. And then um, he, he worked for nobility. He worked for the, uh, in the court of, uh, I can't even uh, uh, remember the guy's name, but he worked for for for, for royalty, right? And and he worked and he worked for the church, and he really so he was he was a devout Christian. He was a devout Christian. I Man. mean, I mean, he, he was. But the we wife. all know him now in school. They're learning about Bach music. Absolutely, he had one wife, and he <laughs> had many many children, and all they did was write and play music all day long. Isn't that amazing? You know, he wrote. Yes. So. He, he, he had an ear. The Bible says he that has an ear, let him hear. But also what he heard, he was able to write. Absolutely. Right. Because writing does not just help you. It communicates. communicates. Come on, tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> right. I mean, that's why I think it's so important, you know, that, that uh, musicians be able to communicate their hearts. You know, what would the Bible be or, you know, if we didn't have it written down? Yes. You know, what, 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 you know the things that are in our heart, the, the Bible says that you know, this is the inspired word, word of, God. of God, inspired. And if nobody wrote it, it would have been <laughs> lost. So my point is, is that, you know, those of us who, who, um, who have this music in our hearts and, and are able to share it, we need to be able to communicate it effectively. Effectively. That's the key. That's what we're talking about. That's what this conference is going to be. You know, it's going to be for you. We want to inspire the musicians. David was a musician, but he was a minstrel able to play under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, but able to write it as well. Uh, Mike, tell us some of the people you play with. I, I was in South Africa and I saw <laughs> Mike uh, in the airport That's right. <laughs> with George Duke. I said, now how, how, I mean, how deep can that be? How, I'm, like, I'm like, George Duke is like, he, he was like my idol. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to be just like George Duke. So uh, yeah, tell us some of the people you play for. Well, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a long list of people. Yeah, you just, but you know what, man, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's been such a blessed time in my life yeah. when I've had to, the, I've played and, and worked with everybody who I've ever wanted to. Wow. Al Jarreau, George Duke, Joe Sample, Roberta Flack, um, David Sanborn, uh, Raymond Tisdale, Jonathan Butler. Uh, Jonathan Butler? Oh, those are my buddies. Yeah, you yeah, know? He's, yeah, he's, a, he's a Christian too. <laughs> yes, as well. he is. A lot of yes, people don't know that. Devout, devout. Kirk Whalum, uh, Kirk Franklin for that matter. Right. You know, just just a, a, a ton of people. And it's just been a blessed time. Um, and, uh, you know, I've, I'm just happy to be in the number, honestly. Well, I'm happy that you are in the number. And I'm happy that I know you. And I thank you for taking on this project for us. And, you know, really pulling it together. We're launching Frontline Music. It is um, it's another alternative to Christian music. It's going to uh, really bring us to another level, another level of understanding. Because we are in 2013, uh, and that number again, that was the same time that music was really being pushed out into society. Yes. And that's what we want to do. And I thank God that Mike is along with this. I thank yeah. God Ben Tanker is coming in, in town. He's going to be a part of this. And for all of you all that are uh, minstrels, you play uh, instrument, this is primarily for you. So you can be able to get this inspiration, but mm. most of all revelation, so you can, we can be able to change a society one person at a time. Frontline music is being released. So we want you all to be here Wednesday, Thursday, and also Friday. And so sign up right away. Go to our website at www. 
fgcai.org and uh, log on there you'll see where you can register and you can uh, let us know that you're going to be a participant of this conference. We know who you are. So, Mike, thank you again for coming. Man, it's my pleasure. Amen. It's a pleasure. We're going to see you on Friday night. Friday night. We're gonna and I, and I, can't, I can't wait, man. All right, man. It's going to be a blessed time. All right. <laughs> Bless you all. So, we'll see you again. Join us for the Apostolic Encounter Conference entitled Moving from Promise to Prominence. It is going to be like no other conference. So you need to mark your calendar from March 27th through the 29th. We'll have host pastors Apostle Ron and Pastor Barbara Wilson and a dynamic speaker, Dr. Bill Winston from Living Word Christian Center. Then on Friday morning, we'll have a day session from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then that Friday night, join our menstrual gathering where we will have our very own worship team Frontline with their CD release, along with guest pastor Corey Person and Mike Manchin. The guest speaker for that night will be none other than Dr. Ben Tanker. Bring your church family. We'll all be held at Full Gospel Christian Assemblies International, 3451 West, 175th Street in Hazelcrest, Illinois, at 7 p.m. each night. You don't want to miss this life-changing experience.